Hello everyone! Here I will discuss the article Learning to play Minecraft with video pre-training. In this project they collected about 70 hours of videos of how human players play the game. Also, they because it's YouTube videos, you don't have actions. So you don't know what are the actions that are being executed by a human player. But if we want to train an agent that can do something in the simulated environment of Minecraft, we need to train that, for example, in a supervised way. That's sometimes called behavioral cloning or imitation learning, which means that as an input of your neural network, you have images and as an output, you have actions. And these pairs have to be connected, mapped by a deep neural network. So in the data set, you need both input visuals and actions executed by agent. Therefore, what they did in this study is they asked paid contractors to play a specific uh, type of task in Minecraft for 2000 hours and collected views and actions. Then they trained a network to predict actions from these views. But they made an additional trick, namely, in order to predict an action at time step t, they used not only previous information, like at time step t or time step t minus 1, and so on, but also they used information from time step t plus 1, so from the future. Because if you have a video and you know the future, from future it's easier to predict past than from past to predict future, is that it's just easier to train an agent to predict what action is executed when you have past and the future. So they trained this agent with a little number of videos recorded and then applied this prediction network to internet-based videos. And in this internet-based videos, you also have the same station that you have past and future. And therefore, with a high probability, they were able to predict what actions were executed by human players from YouTube videos. And this is mostly possible because the future is available. Because when they want to deploy the agent, we have less convenient situation. Namely, if we want the agent to perform in the environment, we don't know what is the future. We only know that what is the past. So as you can see here, the arrows key here for this prediction comes from future and from past. And here, when we deploy the agent, we have only past information. And from this past information, but with much more data, we can train a reliable agent, which can predict what action to execute in, in the current time step, given only past information of visuals. I hope you, you've got the idea of this trick. How can we basically get 70 hours of labeled videos from only two hours of labeled videos for training such an agent, which can play my Minecraft games and perform tasks there. So here, I just shortly show you what the agent can do. It can chop trees to collect logs and then hunting animals. And then another pivotal idea is that we can fine tune a model. So first we train the model to predict actions for any possible task. So this is 70,000 hours. That's about 3,000 days. So it's about 10 years of experience. And uh, on this 10 years of uh, video, we can train just a general agent, which can predict actions for the next time step. So what the human player would do for the next time step. And then we, based on this model, we can fine tune that to a specific task. So let's say if we have a specific task to chop trees, we just show the agent uh, like 10 minutes of some task. So maybe it could be more, but still it's a very limited amount of data that so where the human can demonstrate what to do and then fine tune on this small amount of data, the agent to perform a given task. So this fine tuning, that's the second pivotal idea in the process.